LGBTQ Center, located in an equal space. This is Aaron walking me to the back. Let's go see it. Who are you? <laughs> I am Beatrice Simpkins, the executive director of the fabulous Newark LGBT Community Center, and here we are in our new beautiful home. Come by and see us sometimes. Yes. <laughs> This is where it all goes down. Yes. Uh, that t-shirt for me? I'm gonna give you one. <laughs> yeah, you gotta sign our book. Yes, make sure you sign the book as a guest. Today is I sign the book. The yes book. This side. I'm a small. Knowing that the resources exist. Oh. Yeah, they are here. Aaron, who are you? I am the volunteer coordinator. What do you do? How long have you been volunteering with the LGBTQ Center? Since his conception. You know, but... Um, I just enjoy what they do and what it means, and it's definitely something that should be here. There was nothing of this kind of nature for me, but back in, I'll say the early, early, we're going to go way back, early 70s, we did have a couple of after-school programs. We did have a boys' club, and then they took them away, the North Ward, the West Ward. So now all you have is the Central Ward. I gotta go get you a small. All right. So what are the, what are the hours? When can people come down to um, the center? To be honest, my hours, Tuesdays and when, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm here from 10 to 2. And Wednesdays from 10 to 4. Now, if there's something else going on, I'll be here accordingly. Regardless. Depends on the activity, yeah. Same right. thing with me. Mm -hmm. And but I'll just say, of uh, of uh, you know, I don't know if I should say that on. Well, good thing is it's a, it's a pleasure that the uh, ED is here. You know, it, you know, I don't have to be here by myself. <laughs> In the building. Yeah, so you're the uh, main volunteers that run this place, and so we spend more time together now, which is great. Wonderful. When you think about some of the needs and how people can get involved and support the center, what would you want them to know? Uh, I want them to know we're here, that we're open, that there are multiple spaces available in this building for community meetings, for trainings, for after school get togethers for young people. I want more young people to come in here and make use of this wonderful space. There's a there's a, a photo video shoot room here. There's a podcast studio here. There's a training room here. There are huddle rooms and and there's a um, board room um, and all these beautiful open spaces with great artwork and murals. This is a really creative spirit in this building. And so I want you to come back and start hanging out and having game night and kids game night, youth game night, adult game night. Community dinner. We're going to have our community first community dinner we've had in three years, uh, in Mar on March 12th here, um, and that's going to be coupled with a financial literacy workshop. Uh, along with that, all ages, all people can come and join in our community dinner. It's potluck. If you'd like to bring a dish and you can, please do. But of course, we make sure that everybody will have something to eat. And of course, we're getting looking forward to the. Big thing this year is our film festival. In yes, April. I was just about to ask you to talk about that. I am so excited to be uplifting the voices of BIPOC LGBTQ filmmakers, which is not done enough. And so we are starting a tradition here in Newark that will happen now every year after this. And so there's a lot of good stuff happening. If you have ideas about things you want to do to serve this community, come on down and talk to us and we'll see if we can't make it happen. Wonderful. Oh.
Oh, 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 oh,